Hehe, <laughs> triple down rush come out to the cry say court is are trying to withdraw the certificate of return. Home. Everything is gradually playing out. Opposition party to uh, 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 planning to truncate my swearing in Tinibu raises alarm. Tinibu is crying like a baby now. <laughs> Tinibu they cry like baby. Oh. It was the opposition will take over everything that he has worked for. And the court may end up withdrawing his certificate of return. You see, uh, it seems uh, uh, after the election, the obedience gathered more muscle. I want to make a prayer point now. And you know, when we are praying, I want to pour some of this on the ground and pray that anybody who have snatched our happiness, any politician, any politician, wherever you are, wherever you are whether you work for INEC you are an INEC official you worked for whatever you worked for in this very election that just concluded you are involved in this mess that happened in Nigeria I want to make a prayer point and may God pay you back the same way that you have use the destinies of nigerians to play gambling may god reward you tinibu is now crying out the certificate of return is about to be withdrawn from him they say that he's not the winner he doesn't deserve to have that certificate he said he doesn't deserve to have that certificate that he's going to uh, return let me read from uh, my source the said tells uh, president president elect Aswaju Bola Tinumbu has raised the alarm over plot by some aggrieved partisans to truncate the transition process, particularly his expected swearing in on May 29. Tinumbu, in a statement by his director of public affairs and minister of state, labor and employment, Mr. Festus Kayoma. San also won the presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party PDP Al Haji Atiku Abubakar and that of the Labour Party LP Mr. Pito B against taking to the streets while also pursuing their cases in court. In the statement he issued Saturday in Abuja, the president elect noted that those who have taken to the street protesting against his mandate have visited on having an interim national government. Part of the statement reads, we have watched with great concern the condemnable activities of some persons and groups who are desirous of truncating our democracy for reasons best known to them. These persons have remained embittered that as Wajibola Tinimbu was declared winner of 2023 ele general election repeatedly, but unfortunately, this misguided individuals have called for either the cancellation of the result or that the president election should not be inaugurated in the 29th of may 2023 we wish to reiterate and emphasize that these positions are not in tandem with our constitutional provisions or our electoral laws we would have taken these as mere wishful thinking however because of their implication for national security and public order, we have therefore considered it necessary, if not expedient, to call them to order. We are aware of the intentions of those engaged in this reasonable and subversive act. We also know those involved in the many plot being contrived to undermine the transition in particular and democracy in general. They are fixed, visited, on an interim government they have done it in his in this country before and it threw the country into avoidable crisis for many years and they want to do it again they are bent on delegitimizing the new government some have made reasonable insinuation and openly called for military takeover it is for these reasons that they are desperate to incite the peoples against the incoming government it is perplexing to see that those contesting the results want to be in the court and on the street at the same time. However, 
if their intention is to truncate the inauguration of the president elect and vice president elect they should immediately bury the thought it is gratifying to know that the president has set in motion steps for the actualization of the swearing in ceremonies in this regard the presidential transition council has remained focused and committed to its terms of reference in, re in respect of organizing a hitch free handover the statement noted that on many occasions after the declaration of Tinimbu as the winner of the election his public speeches and utterance have centered on reconciliation forgiveness and a greater vision for nigeria lies it added that the president-elect knows those who are sponsoring violence protect protest against his mandate as well as well as their sponsors from within and outside nigeria and sh and shall be working closely with the security agencies to apprehend them and bring them to book he has pledged fairness as the basis for his present and future engagement he has unequivocally stated that he would not accord favor to those that supported him and neither would he mistreat those who did not vote for him this is state manly and patriotic well watched the president elect as governor of lagos for eight years he never undermined any pos a person or tribe he championed people oriented policies it is common knowledge that he is a welfareist he is a welfareist and a pacifist this is even more so that millions of citizens have spoken through the ballot box in his favor lies by being declared winners as waji Tinimbu and senator kashim shatima are legally entitled to the inauguration into office as provided for by law and as we have practiced since 1999 whereas those who feel otherwise have the right to seek leg legal redress in court why should their situation be different from what we have practiced since 1999 those who are dissatisfied with the declaration must conduct themselves within the ambit of the law nigeria is not a lawless country and should not be portrayed as such no matter the frustration has presently been exhibited by some bad losers those who are stoking the embers of hate division and falsehood as well as pendling misleading narrative through some compromised media outlets should distract from such this is getting more interesting you see um Tenibu said that uh, millions of nigeria voted for him let him go and watch the video of the new abia state governor who was voted in and see the kind of joy people were were celebrating. We didn't even see anybody celebrating Tinibu's victory. It is only within them, the politicians and Mr. Olomo, any other person would even see them on the streets of Lagos celebrating and jubilating. But guess what? The court is about to withdraw it.